Yeehaw! Welcome to Cooking with Papa Tuck and Papa Tuck's Kitchen. Today we're going to do us up a special and uh, got an email from upstate New York out of Albany from Stephanie. So this one's for you Stephanie. You asked me how to do a, a chicken pot pie. Well we're going to do a turkey pot pie because Papa Tuck had turkey dinner yesterday and we got some leftovers. This is a very inexpensive meal. It's good for the family on the run and it's delicious. And Steph, I'm going to show you how to make it so that it's flavorful because that's what you were wondering. How do you put that flavor to that pot pie for your, for your hubby? Well, you can do this with beef. You can do this with chicken. You can do this with turkey. So basically the meat is the meat and I'll, sh I'll show you how to add all the ingredients to it so it's flavorful for you. Alright, well, let me get myself a tiny cup of coffee and we'll get going. Get a little bit of ice here. A little bit of ice, a little bit of Italian coffee, get the pop out of her. There we go. All right, that gets us going. Yeehaw! Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right, what we're going to do here is I put, now keeping this inexpensive now, let me get my binoculars on. I pick up a couple cans of vegetables. These are all veg. And you get them in any grocery store and uh, just go on down to your favorite grocery store on the corner and pick up two cans of veg all. Now this is going to be making two pot pies. I get yourself a pie dish, two of them, because we're going to make two. And I got two cans and I picked up some pie crust from Pillsbury. And it's delicious, it's inexpensive. It, it, for this economy, believe me, this is awesome price. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to butter these dishes a little bit, okay? So we got ourselves a, a glass bowl that we're going to put some turkey into. And I also have some fresh oregano. And I'll just chop a little bit of that up. And some butter. And I'll show you how that all goes together in a minute. And of course, a can opener. We'll put that right there. Let me get the turkey out. And what we're going to do is we're going to chop some up on the meat board and uh, put it in that little bowl. And you're going to want a little bit of that leftover gravy, too, from the turkey that you made there the other day. So, let me get that baby right out here. Look at that. Now, that was a 24-pound bird. And uh, we'll do another show. I'll show you how to do that. But what we're going to do is, uh, I love the dark meat, but everybody else here in the house likes the white meat. So, we're going to use white meat for this. So, let me, let me, get, some, uh, let me get some white meat off this bird cut up here. This show that we're doing right now is basically the pilot of a series of cooking shows, Cooking with Papa Tuck, that you're going to be seeing on cable TV up the East Coast. We're going to be, uh, we're going to be filming, oh, probably about 100 new shows, and we're going to be airing them all over the East Coast on uh, your favorite channels. So I'll keep you posted on that at my, uh, at my website, and I'll also be YouTubing these. Now what we're doing here is we're just cutting these turkeys slices that I sliced off into chunks, okay? Just chunk it up, no big deal. Just about like this. Look at that. About chunks that size right there. Just about like that, you know, that's about it right there. That's about all you want and uh, that's perfect. And actually as this cooks It'll break down a little bit, but it's so nice and tender right now anyhow. Let me get the rest of it cut up. Just like that. Beautiful. Now, we're going to take and put this right into the bowl. Okay? Just like this. Alright, now we'll set that aside. What you do is you take your, your pie dish. And while we're doing this, I'm going to turn that oven on to three 50 and we're going to preheat okay so let me get that on to 350 and we make sure the cookies or pizza box ain't in the oven for mama talk yeah that's about right we want this in the center so we'll put that rack in the center and go up we're going to stick that turkey back in the refrigerator just like that just like that all right now what you're going to do you're going to butter the bottom of your pie dish a little bit. Just like that. 
Not a lot, just a little. You want to put a little coating in there. Okay. That's how Papa Tuck does it. So you got a film of real butter, whole butter, on your pie dish. And God, I've made this with homemade butter. We did a show oh, a couple years ago making homemade butter. We start running these series on TV. I'm going to do shows like that to show you how to make butter from scratch. I'm going to do a series of canning shows. I'm going to show you how to can meats. I'm going to show you how to can veggies. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of people thinking survivalist out there. So we're going to do a bunch of shows where you're preparing food. Like this turkey right here. Well, you can take that turkey and make your meal. That's a 25-pound bird. Say there's two people. That's a big turkey for two people. You can take that turkey. You have your nice meal. The following day, you can mix your pot pies. The following day, you can strip that turkey down of all its meat and can it all. And, per, and, and it, it'll stay for, my God, a couple years canned, okay? Put it on a shelf. It's there for later for a rainy day. But then you take all the bones from that bird and you make yourself a nice turkey soup. You get that turkey soup all done, you get all done with your meal, and you can can that. Now, a month from now, if you want some turkey soup, you don't have no turkey, go on down there and pull a can up, boom, you got turkey soup. Then all you got to do is make your noodles to go with it. You can't beat it. Well, I'll show you how to do all that in the upcoming shows. I make a lot of pie dough by scratch there in my kitchen aid, and uh, we'll do a bunch of shows on that too. But. For you families on the run, working all day long, you know what? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you're working. You stop the store, pick up your pill. I mean, this is so quick and inexpensive. I can't, I can't stress that enough in this beautiful economy that we're living in right now. Money is tight for everybody. So Papa Tuck's going to show you how to do... Inexpensive meals for the family on the run. So what we do is we put this baby right in here like this. Get it centered in your pie dish there, Stephanie. Nice and centered. Okay, that's centered in the pie dish. Now, camera, when I get close up, you probably see that from back there anyhow, but that's, that's nice and centered. I got a nice lip around the edge of it. And what we're going to do is very gently tuck that into the dish. Very, very gently so you don't poke a hole in it. You don't want your gravy mixing into the, underneath the, the pie as it's cooking. So there's that one. So we'll set that aside like that. Now let me get another glass bowl here. Pop over here. Just like this. Get this out. Working utensil. <laughs> yeah. We're going to put that down there like that. We're going to open up our can. Okay. Just like this. Now, you're going to... Stephanie, this is the deal. You're going to strain the water out of this. The juices have got to go. They cannot go in there. Okay. We do not want to put the juices in this mix. So we're going to take... Get the cans open. We're going to go over to that sink. We're, now we're leaving the top on. Here, let me explain that a little bit. We're leaving the top on just a little bit here so it don't fall off and we can get our juices out. That's an easy way to do it. Pop it right over here in the kitchen sink. And get all the juices out. There. They's out. Come here, buddy. Okay, all the juices are out. So what we're going to do... We're going to get that opened up there. Don't do that at home. <laughs> and there's your veggies. One can. Pop that over there. Thought I was going to throw that for Mama Tuck, didn't you? <laughs> uh, I don't want to wake her up. Get top off that. Put that right there. There we go. Isn't that nice? Of course that's nice. Okay. Now we're going to put that just like that. Now, let me show you another thing we're going to do here. Now, I usually do this all in a big bowl, but I'm trying to do this separately here so you sort of got a picture of everything that's going in here. Now, we're going to use that big bowl there. We're going to put this aside. So now you've got, you've got your turkey or chicken or beef. I mean, this can be any type of meat now. And your flavor is in your gravy, okay? 
Now that gravy that you made with your turkey, I'll explain that in a minute, Steph, because you actually prepared that. Now, if, you're, if you don't have a prepared turkey and you want to use some chicken or some beef or blah, 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 you can make some homemade gravy. And a quick way to do that for the family on the run, instead of making it from scratch from the prepared food like that bird, is just buy it in a jar. Get some gravy in a jar or a can, it's very inexpensive, and add it to us. Now, if you're going to use a, a jar, basically, a small jar of gravy for each pie, so that would be two jars. Okay? I think they're about 16 ounce jars or something to that effect. Okay, now what I normally do is I will take my veggies and I'll dump right into a bowl like this, just like that. And I'll take my meat and I'll put that right in there just like that. Let me set these aside over here like this. Now, the only thing that I like to add to this is oregano and I like to use fresh okay so remember that don't I don't like to use the dried powdered oregano why I like to use fresh it has such a fresher taste to it oh my god smell that just open that up and you can smell it so we're not going to use a lot we're actually using about that much right there there's a couple pieces off the tops of a stem okay now, if this is all dried out, okay, and ground down, you've got maybe not even a teaspoon here. So that, that might be a picture if you are using dry. Don't even, maybe three quarters of a teaspoon, okay? That's all you want to put in here. But now I'm going to take and get this off the stem. And, and all you do is peel it off the stem, strip her down, just like that. And get rid of the stem. You don't want that in there. Yeah! Get that leaf off the stem. Just like that. Now, once we get this all put over here with the stem off it, get them out of there, we are going to take that and you're going to cut this up, Stephanie. And all you do is sort of chop it up, okay? No big deal. Just keep your fingers away from the knife. I'll put this over here. Just like that. Now when you're cutting, I'm holding the tip of my knife and I'm going like this with it back here. That way all the fingers are away from this knife. Okay? And all I'm doing is, is cutting. Run it right around here, cut up. Now, I'm going to pile this all together out there. Now, don't use the sharp end of the knife, use the dull end. And you sort of just, this way you won't dull your knife up quite so fast. Bring that back into a pile. And chop it again. Just like that. Now that's all chopped up and that's what we want. And that is what we call a puppy duck paw oregano. Yeah! And I'm gonna throw that right into the mix, sprinkling it around a little bit, just like that. Okay. Now I am gonna take. Oh boy, that baby got to be broke up a little bit more. That's too big. We want to chunk that up a little bit. So double check your meat chunks. Get them down there to bite-sized morsels. You don't want them too big. Just like that. We're going to stir that all in. Just like this. Now, I'm looking at this. And I do that once in a while. I don't think that's got enough veggies. So, I am going to add a can of corn. Now, I'm not using cream corn, I'm using kernel corn, it's a sweet corn, and we're going to do the same thing with this. We're going to open that baby up, if I can find that can opener, where'd that can opener go? Right in there, I got her. We're going to open this can of corn up. You can put an extra can of peas in there if you like them, or a can of corn in there if you like them. You can put a, an extra can of cubed potatoes in there if, if you want to, but Bup Tuck does this. Now, I'm going to get all the juice out of there. So let me pour that out. Always remember, get all the juice out of your cans. Don't add the juice to this. Our juices are going to be the gravy in this. So we're going to dump that corn right in there. There you go. There you go, Mama Tuck. Yeah. Now we're going to stir that baby right in there. Now we're looking good. I like that. Mix that all up real nice. Just like this. 
just like this. There you go. Just like that. Beautiful. And this is what it looks like, camera, when I get a close up and I don't dump it out. That's what we're looking like right now. And my God, does that ever smell good, okay? Look at that. Yo, now my gravy's all hardened up. It's been in the refrigerator all night. I'm going to add a little bit of water to this, and I'm going to warm it up on the stove a little bit. Not too hot. I just want to get it liquefied a little bit. So I'm going to add a little bit of water, just like that. I mean, about a quarter cup of water. And then I'm going to turn that on and warm it up. On top of the cooking shows that we're going to be airing, we are going to be filming a new TV game show, and you're going to love it. And I'm not telling you the name of it yet, and I'm not going to get into it too much, because I want to surprise you. But basically, it's two teams. I have a comedian as a host, and another comedian as a host, and they're going to have teams. My two hosts are going to play with me on each show. There's going to be three people on each team, and they're going to compete against each other. And, and you, you're going to love it when we start doing this show. And then the winner of the first round goes to the second round, so on and so forth, up to the tenth round. And there's going to be a grand prize winner for the winner. Yeah! <laughs> I love it. Let me check my gravy. We're liquefying here pretty good right now. So what we need to do at this point... Cook that up just a little bit more. All right, our gravy's all warmed up over there. It's not hot, it's just warm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour it right into a bowl. You bring this right over here like this. And set that right there. We'll pour our gravy right in here, just like that. Just like that. I don't want to overfill it. I'm not going to use it all, okay? We'll put that aside, but that's nice and workable right there. That is absolutely beautiful. So what we're going to do is we are going to add a little pepper to this mix, okay? Just for Stephanie's flavor. <laughs> yeah! Put just a little bit on there like that. Not a lot, just to taste. Don't overdo the pe pepper. Then we're going to put about a quarter teaspoon of salt into that mix with Pup Tux Paws. Okay. Now we're going to stir that up a little bit. Just like this. Just like that. And we're going to take and mix that. Bring that over here like this so we don't spill it. And we're going to fill this baby right up, just like this, just like that. My God, does that ever look good. I'll show you that in a minute. Look at that. Now what we did is we filled that, we filled that piping up so it's almost level. The meat and the veggies are almost level with, 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 with your pie plate. Down just a little bit. We don't want too much in there. We're going to bring that baby right up like this. And you're going to take your gravy. Camera, want to get a nice close up here. We're going to take your gravy and you're going to pour about half that right in there. Just like that. Just like that. Okay? You got your gravy all mixed up with your your veggies and your meat, and you're going to sort of flatten it down a little bit. Not too much, very gentle, okay? You're going to do the same thing with this one. Same thing with this one. Over here like this. Just like this. Now remember, Stephanie, don't put too much gravy in this. You want it just so that it looks like a real thick soup. Let's get that gravy mixed down this way. Just like this. Get that gravy mixed up just like that. Camera got a close up there. This is about what it's looking like. Now your gravy is, is all mixed in. 
to the insides of your pot pie. Now let's smooth that out a little bit and then we'll get our top on there. Doesn't that look good? Get this one spread back out a little bit. Nice! Okay, now we're going to take our tops and get on there. That's why we got two boxes. It tells you right on the box how many's in there, so you'll be able to judge how many you need. Okay. I'm going to flip this baby right out. Just like this. Open that baby right up. Get her opened up nice. And perfectly place that over the center. Just like that. Center that baby. And what you're going to do is push it down in a little bit, but not too hard. Stephanie, not too hard. Okay. And you're sort of going to take the edges and roll up and fold. Like, I don't know if the camera can get a close up here. What I'm doing, move this out of the way is I'm, I'm actually got this all tucked in. I'm pushing this together. I'm taking the bottom and then I'm folding it up. Just like you make a, a blueberry pie with a top on it or an apple pie. We'll do some more shows on that stuff too. But we take and do this all around the pie. Get this baby all tucked up. Okay. We'll do the same thing to the other one. Make sure that you overlap it though so it don't fall apart. You want that bottom tucked up over the top. Just like that. Sort of neaten it up on your dish. Okay. And you're actually making a little pool here. So it's up over the pie your edges are. Any gravies coming out aren't going to spill over. Okay, then we're actually going to take a fork out of here. This is great grandma secret. You take a fork and you very gently go around this baby like this. Around this whole thing. Don't poke a hole in your pie. Just sort of fold this down. This will help hold the two pies crust together. Okay? Just like that. Just like that. Okay. Now, we are going to take, this is what she's looking like now. Okay. We're going to take, on each side of this, take the fork and poke holes in it. So that this baby breathes. And we're going to do the same thing here. And the same thing here. So that you've got four holes around this thing from your fork, okay? And then we're gonna set this aside. Now, one of the secrets to this pie is another great grandma, okay? Is while this is cooking in the oven, I'll keep my eyes to it, and I'll take a little whole milk and I'll brush on top of this. Not a lot, just a little milk, and as it cooks with that little bit of milk, let me say that again, don't, don't flood it, just brush a little bit on there, that makes that crust nice and flaky. You can't beat it. So that's what it looks like to that. So let's get that other top on here. Now, here's like something here, okay? What we'll be doing on some of the shows is we'll be running in specials on books. Now, this is a book that I wrote, Life with a Fisherman. And this thing really went really nice uh, here on Martha's Vineyard last summer. A lot, a lot of people took this thing down the beach and read it. It's a short read. And uh, I actually made it with big letters people with binoculars on so you can see it easier that's why i did it too but this is a really really nice story of a young boy who grows up back in the day on uh, the capon area island uh, areas on uh, martha's vineyard and uh, learns the way of of an old 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 timer pirate sort of you might say fisherman that's life with a fisherman and you'll be able to get that on my shows too you can call visa and we'll send it to you I'll have a, you know, a, a toll-free number all set up and everything. We get them all cooked up, we're going to time them. You want to keep your eye to them so that you don't burn them. Stephanie, don't burn the pies. 
<laughs> you get them babies right in there. Now they're going to take about a half hour. Now you, you got to remember here, the only thing that we're really cooking is the pie crust. Your meat's done on your turkey. You are not putting raw meat in this. So your meat's done. Your vegetables are all done. They were canned. So you're actually warming them up. And your gravy was all already a little bit warm when you put it together. So this is all going to warm up on 350 for maybe 20 minutes. You know, half hour tops. In about 10 minutes, I'm going to check these pies. And we're going to make sure that they're not burning. Okay, I'm going to keep my eye to them. Don't forget the in the oven, all you new cooks out there. Uh, and then we'll put a little bit of milk on the top. No big deal. Just a little bit of sprinkle. And I'll show you that as soon as they're ready. Okay, it's time to take these babies out of the oven and uh, put a little milk on them. It's been about 10 minutes. We're going to check them. And they're just starting to brown. Let me pull these babies out of here. Without getting burnt. This is what they're looking like. They're just starting to brown. And I'm gonna I wanna get my milk on them now so that my crust is nice and flaky. Now this Pillsbury is a very flaky pie crust anyhow. You can't beat Pillsbury. Maybe I'll talk to them about doing some ad spots on my new shows. Oh, by the way, that's big. All you people out there that want to be heard with your businesses, your contract and your businesses, your realty company, whatever. If you want some really nice advertising, go to my website or just email me at papabooks.net. P-A-P-A books, B-O-O-K-S dot net. That way the editor don't have to go this and put it in there. Ha <laughs> ha. But what we're doing here, but really, you want some good ad spots. I got some wonderful prices that I'm working out with 30 minute, you know, 30 second ad spots. We're going to, nah, we'll talk. Just get a hold of me. I'll help you out real big time. Okay, what I did here, Stephanie, because you don't have a brush, do you? <laughs> I took a napkin and I just folded it up. Okay, I'm going to dip it in whole milk and that's all I want. And I'm just going to brush the top of this crust a little bit. Okay, not a lot. Works better if you got a brush. All right, now we're going to pop these right back into the oven, and I will show you when they're done. So let me get these right back in there. These are actually going to, like I said, 350 at an oven temp, and they're going to take about anywhere from 20 minutes to a half hour to cook. Now, when you're doing pie crust, you'll notice on the box it gives you directions. Cook your pie crust at 4 25 or 450 or whatever it is there. Don't do that with these because you will burn the crust. Um, this needs to cook a little slow and warm up slow. Within a half hour, these, these things would be beautiful and I'll show you very shortly. All right, getting the binoculars out. It's been about 30 minutes and we're going to check these puppies out. I've been keeping an eye on them so they don't burn. Oh my God, do they ever smell good? Yeah! Let's get these puppies right out of here. Be careful, they're hot. Stephanie, remember, underneath them on the bottom tray, you can always put a pan, a flat pan down there to catch any gravy spilling out so that your oven don't get dirty too. Look at this. Let me turn this oven off real quick. There we go. Let's, let's get a close up here. These babies are hot, so I gotta be a little careful. And that's what they're looking like. Now what we're going to do is just let these babies cool. Get that down there. What we're going to do is let these babies cool for 10-15 minutes and they're ready to serve. Now remember out there, all my new shows are going to be helping all you uh, people out there that need to do some advertising. So contact me. And uh, I got some really good spot rates for you. Get, get the word out about the company you have. And uh, you can come on and cook with Papa Tuck in Papa Tuck's Kitchen. That's it for the show. I'll see you all soon. Yeah.